Derek Rutan, that was Take the Week Off. Today's Country Chat 94.5 FM. My name's Nicole in the studio with a very special guest and his plate of vegetables. <laughs> Tay Bay, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? I'm pretty wonderful. Awesome. How's your trip down here? It's been good, yeah. We've uh, man, I've been on the road for like two weeks now. It's been uh, it's been a ways. We started in Vancouver and we played a bunch of shows. We played uh, in Merritt, BC with Lady Antebellum, and then we hit uh, Big Valley Jamboree um, up in Camrose. So yeah, we've been uh, we've been busy. Is there a difference like for you playing an intimate show versus playing a big festival like that? Yeah, it's very different. I mean, in an intimate setting like the one we just had here for your listeners, I mean, it's it's me and a, an acoustic guitar. You know, there's not really anywhere to hide. Uh, there's no smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a lot more intimate, obviously, than playing a uh, a big festival stage. When the buzz wears off, your brand new single. Um, obviously, you're a very well established artist and a writer as well. When you're writing songs for like Emerson Drive or One Direction, what's the major difference? There? Um, man, I'll tell you, it's it's a very different process writing country music to writing pop music. I mean, in country, um, the lyric and the story you're trying to tell um, is really important. Obviously, that's what country music's based on. Uh, in pop music, you can be a little more broad, broader strokes. I like to say, um, you know, it's a little bit more about the melody sometimes than it is actually about the lyrical content. So, um, I think that's the main difference between when I sit down and write pop music as opposed to country. For sure. Uh, we'll be back in one second. And you were talking about getting into radio maybe one day, Tebe. I want to do it, man. Let me uh, <laughs> team me up here. Let me throw to something. Okay, no, you're going just... <laughs> to th- throw to yourself, okay? Are we so, doing that right now? Yeah, when the buzz wears off, man. All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? You're listening to Tebe on Chat 94.5. And here's my brand new single, When the Buzz Wears Off. When the buzz wears off, today's country chat 94.5 FM in the studio with Tay Bay right now. What up? What's going on? What's up? How's your broccoli here. and your carrots and your... <laughs> we got this veggie tray over here and it's pretty awesome. I'm not I was lie. I was questioning them because look at the peppers, right? They're like, they look like <laughs> hot peppers. They're not like slices of pepper. Oh. They're like giant... <laughs> I think they're like jalapenos. I wish people could see this right now. These are massive peppers. I'll take a picture and post it on Facebook after because you awesome. do not eat those. You cook with those. Exactly. That is not I'm an eating I'm not food. Eating those. Okay, speaking of ingredients for creating a meal, ingredients for producing the next big single. Oh, man. Um, Hit Melody, obviously, Mm -hmm. is the first thing in the pot. I mean, you got to have a hit melody or you're not going to go anywhere with it. Um, The second thing is having a great idea. You know, that's the hardest thing for me as a songwriter is coming up with uh, a great idea. I typically like to have the title, uh, catchphrase, something like that, you know, before I dive into the songs. And um, I think those are the two main ingredients right there. Awesome. And uh, what's next for you? What's coming up? What's going on, man? I'm uh, I'm heading uh, towards the east. We are doing a little bit more um, radio. We're doing visiting some more folks um, in Saskatchewan, and then I'm heading back to Nashville on Friday. I haven't been home in like two weeks. I'm home for a, a whopping one day Yay. in Nashville, and then I hop on the bus with Emerson Drive. Um, they're playing at a festival up in Ontario called Boots and Hearts, yeah. and uh, I'm going to get up on stage and uh, perform "Wake Me Up" with them. A little surprise. So if anyone's going, you're probably not, but <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin the surprise. Anyone driving from Medicine Hat all the way to Ontario, don't ruin the surprise. Okay. Shh. Lip sealed. And uh, last question. What are you listening to right now? What am I listening to? Oh, Ed Sheeran is so killer. Good. Yeah, so good. Um, what else am I listening to? Um, do, 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 do. I don't know. I listen to just, just the radio constantly. Pick out the hit songs and crank them. What was I listening? Billy Carrington's really good. I was listening to him recently. Uh, ooh, new Brett Kissel. Yeah. Airwaves. So good. So good. Brett's, uh, we're on the same record company. We're, we're called Label Mates, as they say, Warner Music. And Brett, uh, Brett's on top of it right now. Airwaves is killer. I love that record. Well, since since this is pretty much our goodbye, okay. would you like to throw two Brett Kissel Airwaves? I would. Right now? Are we getting ready to go? We're going yeah, right now? We're getting ready to go. All right. Here he is, my label mate, all the way from Alberta, northern Alberta, Mr. Brett Kissel with Airwaves.